Thanks for checking out my Learn Worlds review. Here I'm going to be giving you a demo as well as addressing some of the pros and cons that come with the software. I'm not big on introduction, so let's get right on into it. All right, so the first few steps of creating your course are going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Give it a name, describe it a little bit, and of course, add a cover image, which you can do either in the beginning or add later, probably something you're going to want to do. I'm just going to leave this blank so we can make the demo a little bit quicker and I don't have to focus on a lot of the aesthetics. We have our course URL, looks fine to me. Let's click on continue. And there's gonna be multiple ways that students can access this. In the beginning, you can make it a draft so that it's not visible. You can do free, you can do paid, you can do private, you can even do coming soon if you're gonna be doing some type of launch. Given the fact you're probably gonna be selling courses, let's go with paid here and click on continue. So as a price, as an example, we can say it's gonna be 97. If you wanted to do a special discounted price, this is a great way to showcase it, something I like. I know it doesn't look too big, but usually these are the types of things that can really help push for sales, especially if you are having a special offer where it was normally 97, but now it's 47. Let's click on finish. So here's a, a big part of Learn Worlds that I think you're really gonna like, and even if you don't, you don't have to use it. They have a very big emphasis when it comes to leveraging AI to get up and running, but not only as you can see, you can use their technology to create high quality and engaging content. So if you never wanted to do that, you can just simply build from scratch, which is gonna be pretty straightforward, but given the fact that Learn Worlds does feature AI quite heavily, I'm gonna click right here and start building with AI. Aside from that, you can upload your files or just import and sync if you're switching kind of between schools. Let's go with AI right here. All right, so the course is about how to generate organic traffic for your online business using social media. We've got videos, we got eBooks, you know, that's gonna be fine, maybe a PDF. We're gonna have some exams here. And this is just gonna be a taste of what Learn Worlds has to offer. Right off the bat, I do wanna say that if you are really hyper-focused on giving your customers and students one of the best learning experiences, you're gonna be in very good hands with Learn Worlds. I feel like that's where they really specialize on. It's not only about creating courses, but the experiences that you have within them, as you can see just from some of the features here. So set the number of sections. Let's say we have three, that's fine. The number of, let's see, each should have the following number of activities. Let's say we wanna do a little bit less. Let's say like two, include specific key topics. So say like building a YouTube channel. Okay, something like that. Create activities based on resource. Uh, I don't have anything here at the time. I'm gonna leave that blank. So once again, this is gonna be another instance of really being able to tailor your approach and how your students learn. I am not too familiar with a lot of these, but let's say we wanna go like with problem-based learning, you can do that, or the successive approximation model. That sounds cool, let's do that. Uh, specify the course level. Introductory, let's say like foundational. Describe the course audience. We can say like online marketers. And set the tone of voice, attention grabbing. Where is going to be witty? Okay, they don't have witty, so I'm going to go with like humorous. I like keeping it a little bit playful. Do they have playful? Playful. Let's go with playful. Let's do generate. I know I didn't fill in all of these here, but uh, let's just go with that and see what we can do. Okay, and I did have to go in and enter that, so I just added that in very quickly and generate. All right, and overall, this is actually pretty good if you ask me. So in the beginning, we have like an introduction, understanding it and overviews, building your channel for maximum impact, creating engaging content, optimizing it and driving traffic through effective social media strategies. Yeah, you could probably have a little bit more, but overall, I say that's not too bad. It's a good starting point, right? So we can do insert content right here. And just like that, we have leveraged AI just to get up and running a little bit quicker. Now let's say that for example, you didn't wanna use AI. I can now do an example, let's just say like none of these were here, right? So what we could do is add section. Let's say this was the real introduction. I'm gonna keep that other content there and we can just pretend that it's not. Let's do save and of course like an activity. Once again, I talked about how they really focus on the learning experience for your students and customers. And this is just a prime example. This is just some of the multimedia that you can have, given the fact there's also time for live sessions, whether it be on Zoom, a WebEx meeting, Microsoft Teams meeting. You can even do one-on-one -on -one and group sessions, which is pretty cool. There's a section for eBooks, there's exams, self-assessment forms, certificates, social, and even embeds. So a wide variety of learning activities for your students, which is fantastic. You don't see 
see that too often. A lot of other course platforms will just kind of be like if you want to write text here, if you want to put a video or audio here, you can also embed or upload a download, say like an ebook, but you never really see this many features in terms of the learning activity. And that's a fantastic thing if you really want your students to have a fantastic learning experience. If we want to do a video for interactive, you can do that. I'm just going to do this as an example to show you what it would look like. Let's do save and edit. All right, and what I did is just go and uploaded a video. While that's encoding, it is going to be uploaded in the background, so I can come back to that if needed. It's gonna take a few minutes, but in the meantime, if you didn't wanna do that, you can always choose from Vimeo, Wistia, from all school videos if needed. There is the ability to add digital downloads. Yes, you can do that, like most class platforms do allow. We have a learning activity background. You can password protect a specific learning activity and even a completion rule if needed. So you got a few extra features to do here, but I think the biggest thing is going to be when you actually create that learning experience, there's just so many features to choose from. If I click on save right here, you're also gonna see on the left side even more that come along with it if you really wanna dive deeper into creating these certificates so that you can award some of your students based on milestones that they cross, like say, finishing a course. You've got grade books, pending reviews, course forums, activity matrix, course insights, dashboard, and everything else that goes along with creating your course. Learn World certainly has a wealth of features, not only when it comes to using AI, but just really making the best possible learning experience for your customers. All right, and then we're going to have the website editor, which in my opinion is gonna be pretty straightforward. You know, there's a, quite a lot of things going on here. For example, like the pages, the funnels, the pop-ups. Expect a little bit of a learning curve here, but a lot of it is this simply kind of clicking on the specific aspect that you wanna edit and then go ahead and actually editing it. Hey, I'm James Gans. All right, did you wanna go ahead and edit your picture? Click on it, change it around, remove it, add some alt text. So this is gonna be a great way to not only create a website, but also showcase what you have to offer, what your brand has to offer, what you have to offer for your customers. And at the same time, what you can do is obviously be able to enroll your students in your course. As you can see right here, check out my lessons. Of course, you can always move this up if needed. See if you wanna move this up, make it a little bit towards the top so more people see it. But overall, they don't have a ton of different types Templates, but the ones that they do have certainly look professional and they do have different sections for them, say like coaching, or if you're going to be selling a specific course, whatever it's going to be, that are going to be much easier for you to modify. Let's give a, a quick preview here. And overall, obviously didn't make too much uh, in terms of edits, but I think this looks clean. It looks professional and it's a great way to showcase what you're all about. And of course, enroll students in your courses, which will be down below, which you can move up as well. So with Learn Worlds, there's the good, the bad, and the price. Let's talk about the starter plan. So getting up and running, you're looking at only $29 per month. And in my opinion, that's a great value price here. You get unlimited paid courses, you get plenty of other features that you see here, and even a three-page website, which is more than enough to actually showcase what you're all about. And of course, enroll some students in your course. Now, what you might not miss here is the $5 per course enrollment right here. So what does that mean for you? Anytime you enroll someone or make a sale in your course, you owe a $5 transaction fee. Now, in my opinion, this can be a big no-no for anyone who is looking to maybe sell low-priced courses. Like, would you sell a $5 course if you have to pay $5 in transaction fees? No, it's just gonna negate to zero and you're probably just gonna be wasting time, even especially if you're paying for advertising. So anyone who's looking to sell a low-priced course, you might not wanna look for the starter plan because if you're selling even a $10 course, 50% of that is going to be gone in transaction fees. And I'll even kind of map it out for you too. What I did right here is open up a notepad so I don't have to mess up my math in my head. Now, if you're at the $29 per month plan, if you make 14 sales, that's 14 times five, that comes out to $70 in transaction fees. If you added the 29 to it, you would be at $99 per month. So my opinion, if you're making 14 sales or even definitely more than that, you'd wanna start at the pro trainer right here because you're just gonna be removing the transaction fees and that's pretty much gonna equal out. Now, it doesn't mean that the starter plan is just really bad for everyone. I mean, if you're selling a course that's $300, $5 per course enrollment isn't all that much, but it really is gonna negate a lot of the individuals who are looking to sell those low ticket priced courses where maybe they do that so they can get coaching students or whatever it's going to be. So in that scenario, it might not be the best of tea. 
However, it is easy to see how their most popular plan would be the Learning Center, considering you get just about all the bells and whistles. And when it comes to that, there's a lot to like when it comes to Learn Worlds, as we talked about. A lot of those great features that allow your students to really learn more, take action, and really see success when it comes to going through your courses. So these are probably going to be most of the two popular platforms, in my opinion, as they stayed right here. This is going to be their popular plan, but I could see a lot of people going to Pro Trainer, especially for the fact that they can get rid of that $5 per course enrollment. And that's just something that I wanted to showcase when it comes to Learn Worlds. That is a pretty steep course enrollment transaction fee, but if you do want to remove it, you can go to Pro Trainer. And if you just want to pretty much get everything that they have to offer, aside from the high volume and corporate section, you're going to be looking at the Learning Center plan. All right, so let's cap off this Learn Worlds review. First, I have to say hats off to them for actually asking for a free trial without needing any card whatsoever. It's a rare gem in the world of software nowadays, especially for the fact how many tutorials, reviews, and demos I do. So you don't see that all that often. It's a whole lot less risky, so it makes it much easier to test it out yourself. Don't forget that link will be in the description for you. Now where Learn World shines brightest like a diamond would definitely be with helping students learn. I think I've mentioned that so many times in this video, but this is definitely one of their biggest pros. Whether it's going to be exams, quizzes, one-on-one -on -one sessions, group sessions, drip-fed content, assessments, certificates, live classes, webinars, or even interactive elements, it's like the Swiss army knife of online education. Just keep in mind some of those perks do depend on the plan that you pick, of course. Plus, there's plenty of AI sprinkled all throughout to help you get up and running without feeling like you need a tech degree. And just to showcase that even more, as you can see where all the little AI sections are going to be are where you can utilize it. So there's plenty of it that you can utilize in terms of the AI tools. I know I didn't get to highlight a lot of these, but it is going to come in handy if you do need a little bit more help getting your course up and running. And now, while Learn Worlds is packed with features, don't expect a perfectly smooth ride when creating your course. It's not the most straightforward, but definitely not the most complex either. Just be prepared for a bit of a learning curve, and the trade-off is having all these bells and whistles. Oh, and as talked about previously, if you're going to be on the starter plan, make sure you brace yourself for that $5 per course enrollment transaction fee. It's not a deal breaker, but it can feel like a sting, especially if you want to sell any type of low-ticket product. And with all that said, Learn Worlds is still absolutely worth checking out, especially for the fact that they really put a huge emphasis not only on AI, but making sure that your customers and students have a fabulous learning experience. You can click the link down in the description to get a free trial with them today. No card needed. And that's just going to about do it. I want to say thank you so much for checking out my Learn Worlds review, and I hope you got some value out of this in any way, shape, or form. My name is James. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy.